Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Bo, and in today's video, I'm going to be guiding you through the first steps of the newly discovered Sleeper Simulant questline. Now, in order to be able to start this quest, you will first need to make sure you have collected all four Davlin Dark Age relics, which drop randomly from enemies and gives you reputation towards your gunsmith. If you've been playing the Taken King in the last three weeks, then you've probably already collected all four of them. Now, once you have collected all four of them, you should be able to go onto the Cosmodrone, and there will be a new mission for you there called the first firewall and this is the first mission towards getting the sleeper simulant. Now this mission tasks you with heading back down into the bunker on earth and having to survive four waves of enemies. The last wave will then be this giant night boss and if you take him down he will then drop for you a curious transceiver. Now we can move on to the next step which requires you to input the right codes into this receiver. So as a lot of other people have been doing the top row is going to be counted as number one and the bottom row is going to be as number two. So here are the codes you're going to need. For the first one you're going to need to input 1 2 1 1 2 2 2 1 2. We can then move on to the second one which is going to be 1 2 1 1 2 2 1 1. We then have the third one which is 1 2 2 2 1 2 2 2 1 1. And the fourth and final one is going to be 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1. Now, if you missed any of that, I will have the codes in the description below so you can read them off. Or you can indeed just look at what I've inputted and just copy that for yourself. Now, once you have inputted all the codes correctly, you will then have another new mission on the Cosmodrone called the Shadow Call. Now, this mission tasks you with making your way up to the top of the spire within four minutes. So the best thing to do here is literally just to run past all the enemies until you make it to the top floor where you will have to kill three wizards. Now, I suggest making sure you have heavy ammo because the timer will still be ticking down. And if you have a load of rockets, you can literally just take out all these wizards pretty quickly. Now, once you have killed them all, they will then reward you with the Akelos Fusion Core, which is what you'll need in order to start the next few steps. Now, in order to actually charge this Fusion Core up, you will have to do a few different things. Firstly, you're going to need to dismantle a legendary weapon. This can be a year one weapon or it can be a year two weapon. As long as it is a legendary heavy, you'll dismantle it. Then you can go back onto the core, click the correct node. It will go blue and that will indicate that you've done that correctly. Now, the next step requires you to complete the old mission, the archive. You can do it on any difficulty, so you can put it on the lowest difficulty and just breeze through this mission. It will take about five minutes. Once once you have completed that, you will then get the next drop, which is the harmonics. Again, you can go back onto the fusion core, select the correct node, and it will turn blue, indicating you have put that in there. And then the last three nodes are pretty similar. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go into patrol on Earth, Moon, and on Mars, and you're going to need to complete a defend the Warsat public event. Now, it is worth noting on Earth, you cannot do the fallen saber Warsat at the beginning of that strike. That does not count. You're going to have to wait in patrol and actually do one of the defend the Warsat public events. Now the way I did this was I went on to destinypublicevents.com which I will leave a link to in the description below. It will show you where warsats will drop and you can go there and time it correctly so you can get this done pretty quickly. I will say Mars took the longest for me. Every time you complete a defend the warsat it will drop for you a harmonics. Once you have got all three you can then go back onto the core and put them in. They will then light up blue. Then a final node will appear if you click that that will complete the core and that will be that step complete. Now once that is done you can then return to the tower and hand the fusion core to the gunsmith who will then accept it and well that's it we don't have anything else to do beyond this no one has figured out what you have to do from here maybe we're gonna have to wait until next arms day in order to actually complete this quest maybe we have to be a certain rank with the gunsmith in order to get whatever we need to continue on this quest but that has been a guide to the first few steps of the sleeper simulant quest line hopefully we can find out what the other steps are soon and get our hands on the brand new exotic heavy fusion rifle hopefully very soon but if you guys have any ideas of what to do next for the quest line be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll try some of them out to see if we can figure out how to get the rest of this quest line to appear. If you guys missed my previous video which I went over Eververse Trading Company, the new way Bungie is going to be introducing microtransactions into Destiny, then you can click the image on screen or the link in the description below. Feel free to give the like button a big old hug and subscribe for tons more Destiny content and coverage. Hope you guys have an awesome day, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.